All right, good afternoon. It is January the 1st, 2022. And as you can tell, I'm sitting in a deer stand. It is about 78 degrees, maybe even 80 degrees right now. And um, there is a strong cold front fast approaching our state, which is making these temperatures as high as they are. Um, big rainstorm just passed through. Other storms are to follow through this afternoon and into tonight, possibly tornadoes and large hail. And uh, the temperature tomorrow night is supposed to be 22, I believe, possibly snow this time tomorrow. Talking about crazy. Got a short sleeve shirt on, and as you can tell, I'm sweating. Very hot in this deer stand, very hot. Been here maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes, hadn't saw nothing, can't blame them, I wouldn't move either. Uh, but we're gonna sit here and uh, see what we can get to come out and do some filming. Uh, I filmed a few minutes earlier, some some of the rain that came through. I'll put that up uh, following this. So you can kind of see what I set through and that was a, a small rainstorm. So hopefully uh, it doesn't get any worse than that. Uh, but the uh, forecasters are predicting otherwise. So stick around. Deer out there, hope you guys can see it. Pretty confident that's just a buck buck. He seems to come out every afternoon, hang out in that area. That truck there's 150 yards away, and there's nothing in it, hadn't fed any corn this year, just trying to hunt these food plots. So uh, let's see if something else comes out here shortly. He doesn't seem to be concerned about anything right now. So we're just gonna watch and see what all right, let me make let me make a correction. Here's actually a a spike. I took a look at it through my binoculars and he's got about some six inch long spikes on him. First time I saw him here this season. So, maybe there's rain that will come out. Who knows? Curious deer. Very curious. Something has his attention. He's been looking in that area since he started walking down that wood line. And I have no idea what it is because I can't see it. But he definitely sees it.
All right, uh, welcome back. January the 2nd, 2022. It is exactly 24 hours from when I made the first video of the year hunting, and I'm in the exact same spot I was in yesterday, and it is 40 degrees colder. Talking about crazy. Yesterday, I saw somewhere where the high was of 85 degrees, 84, 85 degrees. Right now, it is 45 degrees and the temperature is still falling. Raining, it may have some, a mixture of a little sleet in there, possibly a little ice or uh, an occasional snowflake. To my west, uh, northwest really, uh, they've been getting quite a bit of snow the last few hours there and what I mean by quite a bit in Mississippi is a dusting um, it's possible we may get some here later today it is uh, 310 315 something like that in the afternoon um, so we're gonna sit here in the dark and see what happens um, I've been here since um, 1230 I believe today uh, I saw one uh, real small button buck and, and one doe behind me and nothing in front of me but the rain has came back we're getting bands of rain it comes and goes so we're gonna ride it out sit here in the dark and see what happens today so hang out with us for a while And the temperature is steadily falling. So maybe this afternoon will be a good afternoon. Stand by. So let's see what else can come out. All I'm doing so far, except one small blackhead buff that came out from behind me earlier. So let's see what goes on. So we got about 10 minutes left of lethal shooting light. But hey, we gotta stay here where these deer get out of here. Because I do not want to spook these deer at all. And 
know you probably can't see me worth the crap, but uh, it's right at the end of legal shooting hours. And it's 50 degrees difference between now and when it was yesterday. I just saw 13 deer throughout the afternoon, two small bucks, our young bucks, their horns hadn't broke through their skin yet. And 11 does, there's actually still six or seven out in the field now. So I've got to sit here for a few minutes and maybe they'll leave. So thanks a lot. We'll be back in a day or two and see if we can't talk.